So what is the best PC cleaning software in 2024? There are like thousands of PC cleaning softwares out there, but in this video, I wanna show you guys the software that I actually use to clean my PC. So this is a software called Bleachbit, and this is the one that I actually use to clean my PC because it's simple, free and open source, and it just works. I don't usually do a deep cleaning, but if you want to copy my settings, then you can pause the video and just copy the settings. And this is probably the best and safest tool to clean a PC. This is the one that I actually use. And there is one more software that I actually use called PC Manager. So this app is actually made by a Microsoft. So this is actually the official PC cleaner plus optimizer because it's made by the Microsoft. And you can get this software from Microsoft Store. Yeah, it's now available in Microsoft Store. I actually made a couple of videos in this when it was in beta and uh, yeah, it's actually pretty good PC cleaning software and the official PC cleaning software. Right? So this is the interface of this app. This is the home page here. We have this boost button. We can click on it and it will delete the temporary files and also try to reduce the memory usage, which is your RAM. And we also have some other options within the home page, health check processes, deep cleaning startup. And it actually offers a couple of other features too. So let's say for example, the second tab is called protection. If we go here, we can scan for viruses. We can update our windows. If we go to the storage here, we can do a deep cleaning and also manage large files, like find large files and then delete it or whatever you want to do with those. <laughs> And then uh, there is the apps section. Here we can see the apps running in the background, just like in task manager. And we can also end the processes, all right? And we also have a startup apps section, just like in task manager. And finally, we have a toolbox option. When you turn on this feature, it will actually give you a floating window. Today, I'm actually using a different type of screen recorder and uh, that screen recorder is actually causing a problem and uh, this you know floating window is disappearing so basically what you can do with that floating window is i uh, take screenshots easily like you can also dock it to the top and access it at any time and you can also manage that floating window with different options you can see we actually have a suggestion it says your pc has a lot of temporary files use deep cleanup to free up space so let's do that actually now here you can see we have 502 megabytes of files that we can actually delete and it also supports third-party apps too like for example steam vmware now let's click on proceed to do a cleanup you can see we freed up 300 and 10 megabytes of space in our drive and yeah that's it for this one if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too and try to help out each other in the comments i'm not always available in the comments but i try my best to be there so yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye